Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while but I am back and I am here with a DIY homemade tuna sack that you can do all by yourself that's super easy. So if you guys want to know how to make this please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. A lot of these ingredients you might already have on hand in your cabinets as is. So we're just going to assemble all of these things together. Very minimal work. You're going to love this. It's going to be really easy and it's going to go by super fast. Let's start with our rice. You just need to grab your rice. It can be day old rice or so if you need it to be. It does not matter. All we're going to do is add rice vinegar to this. If you do not have rice vinegar, mirin is fine to substitute it with as well. So don't worry about that. So just make sure you put this all together, combine it, make sure it's mixed well, and then set it aside. And that's it for the step one. Step two, let's go on and make our sriracha mayo sauce. I know they make these things in the stores now where you can just buy them, but if you want to just go ahead and adjust the spiciness for your preference, then this is the best way to do it. Add more or little as you please, just depending on how you like it. Again, mix well, combine it, set it aside. Step three, let's grab our tuna. I use the tuna from the water tuna in the water not the tuna in the oil because our mayo already has the oil and it's fatty so we don't want to add more onto that so just drain your tuna really well use about half of that mayo and sriracha mix that we just made combine that really well again set it aside now let's grab our veggies I am using just cucumbers that my husband grabbed at the store I personally like to use Persian cucumbers because I feel like they have a bit of a crunch but these worked out just fine all you have to do with these and I'm sorry I thought I was doing something else but I mean I this is going to have to work for you. I'm just cubing the cucumbers like so. Bite-sized pieces. That's all we need. Once you have that cube, set that aside and let's grab our avocado. Again, ripe avocados that's ready to eat now. Cut your avocado long ways. And all we're going to do is cut these into thin slices. I guess my avocado is really ready to go because I kind of smashed it, but it all works out. Don't even worry about it. It's all going to get covered up and it's going to be delicious regardless. But again, cut these into thin slices. I use about four slices per stack in my particular stack. If you guys can use more or less, again, depending on your preference. Next, if you have this, use it. If you don't, don't go out running and buying this unless you're going to use it all the time to eat with. Just use sesame seeds. You can use black ones, white ones, toasted ones, whatever you have on hand will work with this. All I'm going to do is we're going to start assembling now. We are ready to go. So we're going to start assembling by putting our seasoning down first. Add your cucumbers on top of that. Again, all of this is depending on how much it is that you want to use. By the way, I am using a Pampered Chef measuring cup. I don't sell this. I bought this from a friend a long time ago. If you don't have this, it's okay. You can just use whatever measuring cup it is that you have and just kind of like hit it out before, uh, well, actually when you're done and that's it. But going back to this layering, we did our cucumbers. We are doing our avocado now. Again, four slices is what I am using in mine. And then I'm going to grab my tuna, put that right on top in there. Scoop it out again, more or less, depending on how much of it it is that you want. If you don't have tuna, I'm pretty sure you can do this with salmon and make this like a spicy salmon stack instead. Whatever works for you. If you don't have the measuring cup that I'm using, you want to kind of pack it down a little bit so that it all stays together. And the last thing we're going to add is our rice. Once you have the rice in there, really pack it down again if you're using a regular measuring cup. I don't really have to because I can press it down with what I'm using here, but a regular measuring cup will work with this as well. All right, all you have to do is just flip it. And you're gonna see here, I'm gonna flip it down and I'm gonna press it down a little bit. And then I realize I can do this all with one hand. And so give me a second and I'm gonna go ahead and put my camera down so that I can hold this. Well, you guys will see. From this point on, you can see. I can just push it right out once I put my camera down. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the dollop of the three racha mayo right on top. If you have a squeezy bottle, you can use that and drizzle it all over. You can leave it to the side and just kind of dip every single bit into it. And that is it. Wasn't that so easy? Super easy dinner, right guys? All right, for the rest of this, I'm gonna do this and fast forward for you guys because depending on your measuring cup or whoever it is that you're feeding, you can use whatever size that you want and stack it and make different sizes and that's just how easy it is. So if you have kids that love tuna or salmon or whatever it is that it is that they like, excuse me, woo, then 
Just make smaller portions for them if you'd like. I'm just going to use a, I think I went from like half a cup to almost a cup or something. So I will show you guys the difference in the sizing. And it still turns out amazingly beautiful and delicious. It's just the same steps all over again. Seasoning first, cucumber second, avocado third, your tuna fourth, then your rice on the bottom last. And then we just flip it over and just stack it right on top. And that's it. If you guys want to add more seasoning to it, you can if you want to. I will show you, I'm going to be drizzling just the straight sriracha right on top because I wanted mine to be a little bit more spicy. You can do that as well. Move it to the side if you want to just have a little dipping sauce on this side. Look at that, two different sizes, exactly the same, still delicious. I hope you guys like this recipe. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.